What if I told you you could see a three mile wide interstellar snowball hurtling through space? Well, the good news, you're in luck. Comet Neowise is one of the best comets in decades, and now you can see it too, without setting the alarm clock early in the morning. Neowise is one of the best comets in decades, thanks to how bright it's becoming and how widely it's visible. It was discovered back on March 27th by the Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. It's a mouthful, but basically it spells out Neowise, and that's how this comet got its name. Scientists were stunned back on July 3rd when it passed around the sun without burning up, meaning now it became brighter in our night sky. We'll be able to see it through most of July, but after that, we're not sure if it's going to stay bright or if it'll slowly start fading away. The comet's actually coming unusually close to us, passing only 64 million miles away. That sounds pretty far. It's actually closer to us than the sun, meaning we'll be able to see it pretty well. Now, the biggest question is how can you see it too? But we have good news for you because you can either see it in the morning or the evening. If you're an early riser, look low to the northeast horizon. You'll see Venus on the right, and you'll see Comet Neowise, little tiny smudgy star-looking thing. Or your better bet, wait until the evenings. Look to the northwest, low in the horizon, and you'll see it about an hour after sunset. Now, if you have a really good camera or a telescope, you might actually see two tails of the comet. The left, the darker blue one you see in this image right here, is actually an ionized gas trail. And then on the right, the one we can see more clearly with the naked eye, that's all the dust. And in fact, NASA scientists believe some of that dust is 4.6 billion years old. Comet Neowise is one of those things where you want to see it while you still can, because frankly, we don't know how long it's going to last at the current brightness. It's moving away from the sun, so theoretically it should be getting a little bit dimmer, but it's also passing closer to Earth on July 22nd. After that, odds are it will start to fade away. But through mid to late July, it's really anyone's guess as to how bright Neowise stays. My favorite part about Comet Neowise is that you can see it no matter where you are across the globe. As long as you have a low, unobstructed view of the horizon, you're good to go. It's a nice reminder that no matter what, we all share the same sky. The Capital Weather Gang. I'm meteorologist Matthew.